Uh, first impressions, it's big. It is a big wreck. I wasn't fully ready for just how large it was. And uh, when it came up on sonar, it really stood out. And uh, there was a very strong current and visibility was quite poor. There was so much particulate matter that was just in the water. And we have relatively small viewports because it's a full ocean depth submersible. But eventually got properly oriented and was able to see some of the detail on the bow. And eventually I got to the bow and saw it. The four crane that's in the front looks very menacing. And I was very, very cautious of that. So I tried to keep my distance, uh, but it was, it was just extraordinary just to, to see it all. And the most uh, amazing moment came when I was going along the side of the Titanic and the bright lights of the submersible the first time when they reflected off of a portal and came right back. It was like the ship was winking at me. It was, it was really amazing. The future of the wreck um, is going to continue to deteriorate over time. Uh, it's a natural process. Uh, the, these are natural types of bacteria, so the reason that the deterioration process ends up being quite a bit faster, so it's a group of bacteria, um, a community that are working symbiotically to eat, if you will, the iron, the manganese, the sulfur that makes up the steel.